everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brianna. I am Corey. And today we are filming our once a year ritual of our Walt Disney World favorites. Walt Disney World favorites. In order. Like, you know, one to five, one to five. our favorite to, I don't want to say least favorite, they're just our top five in every category. Top five, if they're least favorite, they're not on the list. Right, because so. they just wouldn't be there. It feels like when you're ranking the parks, it feels like you're trying to like pick a favorite child when you don't have a favorite child, you just love them different. Like I love every park different, so I just want to put that caveat on. God, you're already sounding like a parent. I love you all differently. That's what I, I get from my mom. But it's true. <laughs> so if you're new, please give the video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And turn on your post notification bell so you never miss any of my Disney videos. And we also do a ton of Disney vlogs as well if you're just stumbling upon the channel. So with that being said, let's dive in. We are going to accomplish today our favorite parks, our favorite restaurants, our favorite quick service, our favorite snacks, our favorite rides, and our favorite randoms. My randoms are like the random one is one of my favorite ones because they're just things throughout Disney, not mm -hmm. necessarily like a ride or a snack or something. Yeah. So that's what I'm excited for Absolutely. about the randoms. All right, so are we ready to dive in? Let's do this. All right, so first we are getting into our favorite parks in order one through five. So we did do Typhoon Lagoon. We threw that in here because we've been to Typhoon Lagoon. We have not yet, well, you've been to Blizzard Beach, but I've never been before, but we like didn't add that one because mm -hmm. we haven't been. Yep. So, all right, starting out with our favorite park. Three, two, one. Hollywood Epcot. Studios. Yep. No I truly think ours haven't changed since the last one. Tell me about why you're not doing 1A1B. Like, why Hollywood Studios, even though I know it's like your favorite in the world. Because I have to be a grown up and pick one. <laughs> the mixture of the ambiance, the background music, I feel as though the rides are the best. I feel as though just the different lands are so intricate and yeah. detailed and awesome. My favorite's Epcot. I feel like in the last year and a half, like ever since we finished up our first Disney trip, Epcot really quickly became number one. I love Guardians of the Galaxy. I love the World Showcase. I love living with the land. I just love everything that is Epcot. I love the simplicity yet the magnitude, like the little pockets of beauty and the topiaries when it's like springtime. Number two. Three, two, one. Magic Epcot. Kingdom. Oh, that moved up for you. Yep. Wow. I really toyed with this last year. If you watched last year's favorites, mine went Epcot Hollywood Studios and I talked about how it was so hard for me to try to decide if it was Magic Kingdom or Hollywood Studios that was number two. But this year, this year, I'm just feeling the Magic Kingdom vibes and I'll tell you why. One, I feel like it just embodies a ton of Walt and I think that for me, going in and having that kid-like fairy tale old school nostalgia Disney this past year has just been more that's been like what's speaking to my heartstrings. The castle at, you know, sunset and just like ev right now, Magic Kingdom is just really like hitting home for it's me. Just all, all it's just like all right encompassing. Now. And your number two is Epcot. I'm a big foodie person. I yeah. feel as all the two of us, I will gladly stop at every single pavilion and eat something mm -hmm. and or drink something. So I truly take it for that. I think you're, because you're more adventurous and I'm picky. Yeah. Like, I don't like a lot. Exactly. And then it's just such a nice low key park. Yeah. And it has great rides, but they're not as intense. I mean, yeah, Guardians is there, which is absolutely spectacular. Yeah. But all the other rides are just great. Just like coast through, mm -hmm. enjoy the view, type yep. rides, get some nice relaxation in. Yeah. I, I'm just a nerd. I like the learning aspect of it. Yeah, but I don't think that's a bad thing. <laughs> it's not a bad you thing at all. You just like it. Yeah. yeah. We relocated. Update, we relocated the camera because I just wanted us to be like more in the frame, I feel like. She and wanted I feel you like to I see our shirts. Yeah, and I feel like my shirt wasn't as prevalent as I wanted it to be. All right, so next on to the third favorite, three, two, one, Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios, to me, I feel like it is just this old Hollywood glitz and glamour, and I do love walking Sunset Boulevard. I think Sunset Boulevard is beautiful. I think it's one of the underrated park icons, if you will, because mm -hmm. I feel like the entire strip is just so beautiful. Yeah. It gives, like, old Hollywood glamour, and the rides at Hollywood Studios are just unmatched. You're always going to have a fun ride there, right? You've got Tower of Terror, Rise of the Resistance, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, Slinky Dog Dash, Toy Story Mania, like, more and more. For me, Magic Kingdom, and I'm sure a lot of you are screaming at the television of, how is it so loud? So it's but just the pure three. nostalgia of this park is 
is mm -hmm. absolutely incredible. And I'll be the history nerd here where it's like it's a remnant of Walt. Yeah. For me, it's not only a remnant of Walt, but it's a remnant of his brother Roy as well. Since yeah. Roy was the one who actually like did, did the vast Magic majority Kingdom. of Magic Kingdom and yeah. bringing that in. So even though it is Walt's park, I like to say it is Roy's as well. Branch number four. Ready? Mm-hmm. Three, two, one. Typhoon Kingdom. Lagoon. I knew you were gonna move it. I knew you were gonna move it. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? I knew you were gonna move it. I don't know. I just had a hunch. I just had a hunch that Animal Kingdom for you was going to be fed. Now, let me say, because people are probably like, oh my god, how are you rating Typhoon Lagoon over Animal Kingdom? Like, you're giving Animal Kingdom the shaft. Don't do that. It's not that I'm giving Animal Kingdom the shaft. It's just that these other parks have things that bring me so much joy yeah. in different ways that it's just more than in Animal Kingdom. But to Typhoon Lagoon being my number four, when I tell you we've never had a bad day at Typhoon Lagoon. We never have had a bad day. It's I, never rained on us. Nope. It's just been nope. always a beautiful, fun day. It's always been filled with laughter. It's always been filled with joy. We've always had the best stories to share. Little splishy splash. Little splish splash. Taking a bath. I absolutely love Typhoon Lagoon. I love getting on the water rides. I love being able to like rent our little beach chair area. I just get so much joy when we do a water park. I think it is one of the most underrated things things that Disney does. But for Animal Kingdom, I at least give it the nudge over Typhoon Lagoon because of food. Oh I'm god, yeah, the believer. best food I, ever. And this is just of any park in general. I think Animal Kingdom has the best food out of mm -hmm. out of any park. Their rides are for the very few rides that they have. They've hit they they hit on all cylinders Absolutely. as well for awesome rides. I just go off of Typhoon Lagoon, but yes, the rides are great, and for me, being a single ride, I like the more thrilly rides, and a lot of the single person rides are the thrillier type of ones, like steeper drops, faster. At Typhoon Lagoon, you're not saying? Necessar yes, yeah. not necessarily Brianna's cup of tea, but Brianna's like, I'll be the proud significant other and watch watching. you, and I'll sit there in the sun, have a good time. Yeah. So then, my last one is Animal Kingdom. But I think this is what, I again, I want to say, I'm not ranking it because I don't like it. Right, you have to rank one through, you have to go from your right. favorite to your, in theory, least favorite. But mm -hmm. Animal Kingdom is not my least favorite. I just like them all in different caliber. Right. Animal Kingdom, by far, best food in all of Walt Disney World for any park. It outdoes Hollywood Studios, it outdoes Magic Kingdom, and to be honest with you, I do think that it outdoes Epcot, where I think Epcot has fabulous food. Animal Kingdom is just top notch above. They go mm -hmm. above and beyond. They've got incredible, incredible food. So that's one thing I love about Animal Kingdom. Mm -hmm. So those are parks. All right, so now we are on to our top five Walt Disney World restaurants, which I am very excited about, because yes. you all know that me and Corey are foodies. We love a good sit down dinner. Food so Network we're Corey do, is everyone's favorite. Yes, Food Network Corey is here to stay. Our favorite restaurant in all of Walt Disney World is three, two, one, Flying Fish. Totally Terrace. <laughs> <gasps> really? Yep. Wow! Continue, please proceed. So me first. Proceed with that one. Okay, so let me tell you, spectacular and excellent. Spexcellent. It is just spexcellent. It is That's spexcellent. Fun. It is spectacular, excellent. We have never had a bad dish at Flying Fish. The interior of this restaurant is absolutely oh God, beautiful. Exquisite. From the glass bubbles and the glass fish to this like underwater, like dark blue tone mm -hmm. is absolutely phenomenal. They have the best shrimp cocktail I have ever had the opportunity <laughs> to eat in <laughs> my life and I mm. love shrimp cocktail. I dream about the risotto from my steak oh, dish that I get from there yeah, you have every twice. single year. To the good side of Topolino's Terrace now. This place hits on all cylinders. cylinders. The ricotta with the bread to literally I'll go to every meal that I've had. The sole, the filet, the veal chop, and the langoustine. Oh my word. This place is absolute bonkers yeah. when it comes to just like expertise in terms of just like execution of how they just cook everything to plating. Everything the plating is, just, is fabulous. The plating is fabulous. Like I'm not the biggest phone eats first person yeah but here i am you are it is absolutely stunning breathtaking i feel as though every server that we have had has been an absolutely outstanding attentive server so for me topolino's number two their appetizer section to me is always top notch mm -hmm. 
when I, it is always difficult for me to choose an appetizer there because their appetizers are fabulous. We've gotten burrata there with truffle oil, which was just absolutely spectacular. It was amazing. I absolutely love the classic sole with the baby potatoes. The sole, sole is light. So it's in butter. It is just absolutely to die oh. for. It is spectacularly excellent. Mm -hmm. Spexcellent, as I would now say. That's my new we word. We are coming up with words yes, today. Yes, spexcellent. It is just so unbelievable good for me flying fish from the locally made bread to the lava salt butter to start oh, yes. off the fun little hand towels that Going you get to pour the water and then they expand it's just the experience is fun but then to piggyback off of you people the shrimp cocktail you oh, did you God. get the shrimp cocktail. amazing it is absolutely so good like, what's so good about it Order it and you will understand. Yeah, and you'll, and you'll you will find understand. out. On to number three. On to number three. And sorry if there was another camera change, you guys. I'm just missing our normal backdrop, but we're making it work. So it is what it is. She's and I feel not like comfy. I'm just moving around. And I'm too yeah. wide. Yeah, you are kind of wide, but it is what it is. We're gonna we're gonna do with what we've got. All right. Third favorite restaurant in all of Walt Disney World. Three, two, one. Paleo. Tepanado. Well, we could not be more op opposite aligned. Wow. Do you wanna go first or me? Small plates, people. That yeah. is literally the name of the game here. It is just the perfect comeback, compact few little bites that you get on this plate, but you order just a smorgasbord. From the tuna that we had, yeah. to the mussels, to the potato croquette, the, sh the shrimp, everything just hit beautifully and it was just a perfect pop of a bite in your mouth. And also people, if you have picky eaters that need to, that want to learn to be adventurous, this is the place. Brianna hates raw fish in general. In ge any of it. In general. And I ordered this one raw tuna bite, but it came with like this olive oil dip and whatnot. I think there was probably 15 pieces on this plate, but they're like literally this big. Yeah. I think she had 12 of them. They it were was amazing. So I still good. dream about that. I was that so to this happy day. that you enjoyed that so oh, much. Oh my god, it was so good. My third favorite is Tepanito, and I'm gonna or Tepanado, however you say it. Let me tell you, it would not have made the list except on this last trip when we went in May, we went and Corey and I decided at the last minute, Corey went and then I ordered. And when Corey ordered, he at the last minute was like, oh, I'm gonna upgrade and oh. I'm gonna get the filet. And I was like, really, why? And he was so like, I just, I wanna just, I wanna upgrade. And I was like, okay, fine, if you want to, I guess I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna not upgrade it with you. It had to have been some of the best filet that I've ever had in life oh, yeah. and i know that sounds so silly it wasn't about the seasoning it wasn't about anything it was the tenderness of this filet was melted. was melted in your mouth it was absolutely spectacularly fabulous i love teponito it is one of the restaurants that when i go to epcot i always miss when we don't go we try something new or we try not to eat at it like yep. in epcot and i always say to Corey, i so miss good. that meal like i wish that we were doing that meal so, so teponito is my number three teponito teponito all right number four three two one bar, bar -riva. Riva. get out Get out of here, baby! Nice. Let's go! Nice. nice! Okay, we can definitely get married. Wow! Can you even believe? So good! Oh, honey, I love you so much. Oh, honey, I the love minute you. you said, the minute you said that's not quick service, I'm like, it's not the list. Like, One of these restaurants oh, is going to get knocked off and, and, and it's there. Oh, it's so good. Oh, my. I need to, like, collect myself, you guys. Wait, I had no... When you said that the other day... We were just haphazardly talking, and Corey was like, oh, I wish I could add Bar Riva. And I was like, well, you can. It's a restaurant. He was like, oh, you wouldn't consider it a quick service. And I was like, no, Bar Riva is like a sit-down restaurant. Let me just say, Bar Riva is a Disney underrated meal service. Mm -hmm. It is just, the focaccia and burrata bread was absolutely incredible. The mushroom arancini oh. was crispy, yet it was light, and it never felt overpowering and heavy. Mm -hmm. We got the glazed sticky chicken glazed wings. Sticky chicken Those wings. were really delicious. And I, With another- a nice radish. A, a nice okay. radish. And the one thing I will say about Bar Riva and why now it's so high on my list, and this is just another thing, it is a very, awesome atmosphere it's a fantastic it atmosphere. is so fun to be outside in this beautiful like watercolor like archway. mediterranean thing archway is coming through yes and it's you know it's an elevated meal not to go off the food like brianna did but if you are on the skyliner or if you're at epcot and you yes. want to like try someplace else as like a dinner 
or a meat or excuse me like a lunch or just like a quick snack or whatnot go. hop over to bar riva anyone can go jump make, on the skyliner and jump go. on the skyliner our last one part of me i'm gonna say it now part of me believes that we're gonna have the same last one because we had number number four i i think we're gonna how much you want to make a bet i will bet you twenty dollars that i do think that we're actually gonna have i don't think we will twenty dollars twenty dollars okay okay i don't think we will okay Three, two, one, California Chico. Grill. You got Chipotle today, so there's the $20. All right, good, so we're even. <laughs> so I really thought you were gonna put Jico up there. I did I did have it, but that actually wasn't the one that got in the boot. Jico is technically like seven for me. Jico is at Animal Kingdom Lodge, and I was nervous about it because it's very much, would you say it's very African, Middle Eastern, like what it's kind 100%, of- It's 100% African inspired. Yeah, like a very African inspired, and I am not, an adventurous eater. I love to eat and I'm a foodie and I love to eat the best of the best, but I'm not very adventurous all the time because I'm nervous about certain flavors. I'll give an example. When we went there, Corey got the cacao crusted venison yeah. loin. That's all up Corey's alley. You couldn't pay me to order that for mm -hmm. myself. So I was nervous when we went to Jico, but we were doing an entire evening at you know Animal Kingdom and then we were going to Animal Kingdom Lodge, just having a fun Animal, Animal Kingdom, Kingdom day, day, day if, if you will. I ended up getting the panko crusted filet mignon with that bone marrow butter, <laughs> cast iron mac and cheese, and like a sauteed veggie. One of the best filets at mm -hmm. Disney, a delicious macaroni and cheese, and such a fabulous environment. Mm -hmm. I was exhausted after the fact. However, when I really sat and was picking out my day. favorite restaurants, I was like, that was a beautiful experience. Our view outside was amazing. Right yeah. on the water, it was nighttime. And I'm sure you're shocked of me choosing California Grill. I am because I feel like what we got at California Grill, where it was good, it was not in my top five. The, to the tomahawk steak that we purchased was absolutely superb lights out. Lights out. It really was lights out. All right, so next we are on to our favorite quick service stops at Walt Disney World. Oh, yeah. First one, three, two, one. Woody's La Lunchbox. Cantina de San Angel in Epcot. Oh, wow. How did I forget about this one? Honorable mention. Oh, oh, oh. Now you want to add an honorable mention because you forget, because you didn't remember. Oh, that place is good. I'm going first. La Cantina de San Angel, which is in Epcot. This food was amazing. Mm. We ended up getting the beer battered or like the crispy shrimp tacos. We got nachos. We so got good. beef shredded barbacoa tacos the rice on the side was delicious you get to look over out of seven seas not seven seas lagoon the world showcase mm -hmm. like water bay beautiful ambiance and the food was so so fabulous i didn't have so so fabulous. so fabulous i didn't really have any anticipation on what that food was going to be like however i thought that it was to die for woody's lunchbox brisket grilled cheese people or the tachos pick one with an adult's lemonade Nothing better. You have a meal. My number two, I'll just tack right on, was Woody's. Woody's Beautiful. got the demotion because of the one in Epcot. I always get the tachos. They are my favorite. But I just think the tachos are delicious. The grown-up's lemonade is to die for. And the That's tachos... That's the only thing you drink in a fast Yeah, because I, it's delicious. My number two was Satouli Canteen. So good. The the shrimp bowl that we usually get and the cheeseburger bao buns. I enjoy them. I know the bao buns are not Brianna's favorite, but yep. literally it is a Big Mac within these things. Filling lunch, but light lunch. Yes, you, you don't never feel, feel gross correct. after it. And I think that's key on a long, hot park day. Number three. Three, two, one. Columbia Harbor House. Did you not... Oh, I didn't know we were going three, but in a fun world, mine was Columbia Harbor House too. <laughs> I think that Columbia Harbor House is best quick service in all of Magic Kingdom. I like good quality quick service, and I think Columbia Harbor House does it beautifully. They have one of my favorite things to get there, which is the fish sandwich, and it's on this like brown. We're gonna be getting that next. What time. is it like a pumpernickel bread? That like bre the brown bread. It was light. It didn't make you feel overpowering. For me, I always get the fried fisherman's platter, which fried oh, shrimp, it's chicken? chicken strips. Oh, I literally fish. thought it was calamari. You know why? Because of that, the hush puppy. Oh, that's what it is. Is another fried it's a chicken element. Strip. All right, ready for number four? Number four, Cosmic Rays. Yorkshire fi oh, Mine's new. I just like want to get divorced. Why? Because of all the wonderful places. I liked it. 
cosmic rays is I in there. It. I had a buffalo chicken sandwich from there, which was absolutely it's a spicy cooked. chicken sandwich. It was it's the same thing. It's with the same sauce. <laughs> I don't think it was buffalo. I just thought it was like hot sauce. Oh my goodness! But it was absolute. It was a very good. It was a juicy piece of chicken. It was on a Greek bread, lettuce, tomato. It was great. A good, good skinny, crunchy fry. Right. It was nice. And then guess what? I loved the 1980s nostalgia of it. I liked the dude playing the the, the animatronic. Mine is Yorkshire Fish and Chips in Epcot. The fish and chips in the UK are to die for. Corey and I, to be that those people for a minute, we've been to England. We love fish and chips. Crunchy. They are light. The batter is thin but crispy, and the the fish inside of it is so fresh and delicate. They are amazing, and I'm just gonna say it right now. I don't know where we are in this video, but Corey and I have been talking for about 20 minutes per clip here, and we are just hanging out with you guys today, so I hope that you're enjoying. Number five. Pecos Bell. Very good. Mine was Satuli Canteen. Satuli Canteen, like you said, I just want to echo everything you said. Such a light meal, but very filling, delicious food, and one thing I love about Satuli Canteen that I don't think a lot of quick service locations have, the inside of Satuli Canteen is immersive in and of itself. Right. It's a fun sit down, fun quick sit down. service. Yeah. I think a lot of times you can only get a fun sit down with like character dining or when you're right. doing a bigger sit down meal. But Satuli Canteen quick service inside of Satuli is really fun, really fun. And, and really beautiful. Really good. So I would say that. Um, yep. Pecos Bill, when you're not getting like the ground beef taco, because yeah, that that's just bad. swimming in grease. That was rough. The pulled pork one and the and um the fajita platter yeah my fajita platter right yeah that bowl like in that that like bowl that you got with that, the like, peppers and yeah. the onions yes Light, it's so good light oh, changing that's my honor and we mention. have it and we haven't got one yet because they always seem to be like out when we go the walking, walking taco, taco which everyone raves about that we want to get, get i have other than that the, the, the ground beef taco i've not had a bad food experience from there. Yeah, Baco's Bill is really good. Now we are on to our favorite snacks in Walt Disney World, which I am ready for. My favorite snack and your favorite snack in all of Walt Disney World, three, two, one, cheeseburger but, spring rolls. No. What? No. What do you mean no? No. What do you mean? No. Wait, I don't understand. <laughs> this is like not up for negotiation. No. <laughs> No, we're not having a conversation about it. The best snack in all of Walt Disney World is the cheeseburger spring roll. Get out. Get out, Corey. Get out. Get out. Get out. I'm ending the video. I don't even want to continue. What could possibly be better? The pulled pork jelly donut sandwich. Okay. All right. You redeemed yourself, but still cheeseburger spring rolls. All right. I'll go first. You collect yourself. Oh my god, that was so good. Cheeseburger spring rolls are amazing. It is a Big Mac wrapped around in a wonton wrapper, deep fried, and it is delicious. It is at the adventure, like the spring roll cart right before you go in to Adventureland in Magic Kingdom. They are delicious. They are delicate. They are light. They are crispy. They are everything that the world needs to bring everyone together. There's no world that a glazed jelly donut and salty goodness that is pulled pork Go together. In sandwich form, go together. But they do. But they do. Don't knock until you try it. It's life changing. Amazing. So good. Life changing. On to number two. Second favorite snack. Mine is the grilled corn on the cob from Harambe Fruit Market in Animal Kingdom. Cheeseburger spring rolls. Okay, we can we can be friends again. I'm, I forgive you. The grilled corn is delicious. The corn is grilled really nice. The African spices that are on this corn are fabulous. And I think that it is an underrated snack. It is something that, for me, I'm the corn girl. We talked about this in the podcast episode. But I love corn, and that is probably my favorite corn that Disney does, mm -hmm. or just in general. But the cheeseburger spring rolls. Anything that is good in this world that makes it all-encompassing, whatever Brianna did with her hands here, yeah. is what it does for yeah. you. And it's spectacular. Okay. Don't get the pepperoni one. My number three is the pulled pork jelly donut sandwich from Eight Spoons Cafe. Nice. So mine was on there. I cannot even imagine not knowing about this any longer. It is by far one of the best snacks in all of Walt Disney World. Pulled pork jelly donut sandwich from Eight Spoons. My third one is the I Lava You from Sunshine mm. Tree Terrace. Terrace, the float. You will receive orange Dole Whip with like a strawberry or watermelon Fanta, Fanta. I soda. forget which one it is. I it's forget just which one red. it is. But then it comes with red Pop, Pop Rock candy on it. Talk about an experience in your mouth, people. You just take it and you just get the nice crispness from the Dole Whip, a little bit of <laughs> 
poppiness from the you soda. You said Christmas. I said crispness. You didn't. P you didn't put at all. Crispness from the Dole Whip. I also like to go to Sunshine with you when we're finished with dinner and we're like walking through to go to our next ride. We're usually going and to pir dinner, we're either going to pirates, pirates or, or coming, coming from, from pirates. pirates. Yeah. 100%. Mm -hmm. My next favorite, we can just stay at the same place because mine is the Citrus Swirl Dole Whip from Sunshine Tree Terrace. Sunshine Tree Terrace, people. I love their Dole Whip a lot. I think it's half orange Dole Whip, half vanilla ice cream. The reason why I like that one is I don't think it's as icy. It's more creamy and mm -hmm. that's really why I like it. And I don't think I like a lot of Dole Whips, but that one in particular is one of my absolute favorites and it's so refreshing to your point. Going into my next one, which is shocking because I usually don't like this outside of this place. It is the kettle corn from the Germany Pavilion. Oh my god, I totally forgot about that snack. What is, I don't know what it is about it, but it is the perfect mixture of sweetness and saltiness in a popcorn bite, if you will. Yeah. And let me tell you, Germany Pavilion, great people watching. My fifth favorite snack in all of Walt Disney World. Mm -hmm. The Mickey beignets. Nice. Nice. What was yours? Mine was out of left field as well. And you have to, it's actually in a store that you have to purchase it from. It's not from like a pavilion or a quick service. In the Japan pavilion is the peach mochi rice cakes. Oh, oh my God. yes, yes. These you love those things. These things are just like plush yeah, little like, like beep, beep, gooey beep, beep, gummy beep, 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 ball things. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. You love those. Oh my God, it's so good. So good. I had one a day for, there were six. So How did six you even straight. find out about? Tyler Braun got them. And I got the green tea ones, and I did like the green tea yeah. ones, and he got the peach ones, and I was like, let me try the peach oh, ones. Oh, I think I remember one I of their mind... vlogs years ago where they were, like, messing with the... Because I don't mind the consistency of it. It was just a flavor that I didn't like of the green tea ones. So I was like, oh, let me try the peach ones. So much better. So much better. Mm -hmm. Mine is the Mickey Beignets. If you've never been to Disney's French Quarter Resort, Port Orleans French Quarter, get on the boat at Disney Springs and head to French Quarter and at the Scat Cat club or something like that they do mickey beignets they are phenomenal they're mickey shaped beignets they're warm get it with the strawberry sauce the strawberry is by far the best the sweetness from the strawberry cuts through the more like friedness and sugary mm -hmm. sensation of the beignets but oh my god so good next we are on to our favorite rides in all of walt disney world and i would like to safely assume that we have the same first one so we can just hit it three two one cosmic, cosmic rewind. rewind by far the best ride at walt disney world ever honestly it's it one is, of the better rides uh, in the world in the world so good it is immersive it is enjoyable it is exciting and let me tell you one thing i love about cosmic rewind that nowhere else does is that you never know what song you're gonna get. There is this anticipation, <sighs> mm -hmm. there is this like, what song am I gonna get? What song am I gonna get? Am I gonna get a song I've never had? Am I gonna get a repeat? What am I gonna get? Second favorite ride in all of all Disney World? Three, two, one, Flight Rise passage. of the Resistance. <sighs> yeah. That one was even your, that was your number one last year. So it only got demoted one. one. Only got demoted one spot. All right, you can go first. It's, we're beating a dead horse over with an immersive experience, but the feeling of the Banshee breathing, mm -hmm. you actually feel the sensation of flying with the gigantic screen and how the cart thing moves, moves. the breeze, the water, the scents. It is just truly a miraculous four and a half minutes. Mine was... Rise of the Resistance. Nice. I love these immersive experiences that Disney puts you through, and I think Rise of the Resistance is just such a beautiful example of what Disney can do and what Disney can create. And let me tell you, Rise of the Resistance is incredible. I love the Trackless Pod. The Trackless Pod is probably my second favorite ride vehicle. vehicle. Like and I they love have the more pod. rides with the trackless pod, which yes. is great. So I absolutely love that. And I just love how immersive it is. I love that you wait for a long time and the ride is long, right? There's nothing worse than waiting for a long time and feeling like you're just on and off. That's kind of how I feel with Seven Dwarfs mm -hmm. and Tron. My number three was Rise of the Resistance. Oh, it was? Car, okay, you can go ahead and talk about well. Rise. Just the sheer detail that each room that you get in is incredible. From the... Yes actual aircraft that you're flying on, you truly feel like you're flying. All right, my number three, Slinky Dog Dash. Ah, uh, go figure. I just love Slinky. It just gets so fun and so exciting. You get to go through the whole Toy Story land. It's just fun, and I feel like 
you know, the thing that I love about Slinky Dog Dash, not only do I think is it a great coaster and it's just fun, I think Toy Story Land is so beautiful that the best way to see Toy Story Land is from Slinky Dog Dash. Oh, absolutely. Especially at night. We rode it at night once and it was probably so the best cool. time. It was when the we... park closed, we got yes. in line just as the park closed. And yeah. it was just so fun at night. The lights are all lit up. It's just a really beautiful, fun experience. My number four. Number four. Twilight Zone, Tower of Terror. Yeah. Go figure, people. This one's always on my list. I don't care what, ne what ride comes next. I don't see this ever being knocked off. The up and down, entering the Twilight Zone. Scared. It's truly amazing. When this ride was made, it was truly ahead of its time. They were the first ever people to be just like calling up an elevator company and be like, we need you to pull us down. And yeah, we like, want to so fall faster, faster than, than gravity. gravity. Scary. Incredible. Nope. Not for me. Absolutely immaculate. I love it. My number four is Flight of Passage. I just want to reiterate what Corey said. Everything about Flight of Passage is so immersive and when it comes to rides and going to Disney World, you don't want just a standard coaster. You want something that feels different where you're engulfed, where you're fully immersed in something and I think Flight of Passage does just a really so beautiful good. job of that. So good. Number five. My fifth one. We're really reeling it in here. Yeah. Slowing it down. Mine is Space Mountain. Mine is in Tomorrowland. The Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover. Okay, wait a minute. Everybody loves the People Mover, but like, it's not like in their top five of rides. It's like just everyone likes it. You can't have that in your five. I didn't know there was a rule. Well, can't. it's just like everyone like loves it. Like I would take Space Mountain off and put it in then. You're just jealous that I said it first. Well, I am jealous that you said it first, but I just feel like, you know. There's never a bad time to ride this ride. <sighs> Now you got me all Morning, confused. Afternoon, evening, during oh, fireworks, sunset. sunset. If sunrise was available, we'd do it too. <sighs> it is just the best relaxation ride. Going through all of Tomorrowland, yeah. seeing Tron, seeing the inside of Buzz Lightyear, see, hearing Space Mountain when you have the cool opportunity like we have with the lights oh, on. With the lights on. So freaky, but so, so cool, cool at the same, at the same time. time. So I'm going to keep Space Mountain. I am. I'm going to keep Space Mountain as my fifth. And mm -hmm. I put Space Mountain there because we laugh so, so hard good. and so loud. So and it just every time we get on that ride, I just know it's going to bring the two of us so much joy. And we're always laughing. And it's just Space Mountain is the nostalgia. It was my first ever roller coaster as a kid. It was my mm -hmm. first ride I ever went on roller coaster wise. Now we are on to our last section the of our Walt Disney stretch. World favorites and it is our Walt Disney World randoms. So this is just anything miscellaneous, all different kinds of things that we love that are super random in Walt Disney World. These are in no particular order mm. for me. These aren't one through seven. Yeah, these, these are, are no just like all for me. I just love them. Notated like things. Them. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm going to go first. Mm -hmm. Number one, my pina colada. Nice. My alcoholic beverage. Nice. I don't drink a lot, but I love me a pina colada. I th or colada. They're refreshing. They're light. It's basically a pina colada and then wrapped around the outside of the drink. They like drizzle in like a raspberry puree. So refreshing. Mm -hmm. So delicious. I love pina coladas. Mm. Mine is happily ever after fireworks. Oh, that's a good one. In life, I'm an emotional human being, but when I'm watching things, I'm not an emotional human being. But when you watch this, I'm an emotional human being. Yeah. It's so good. So to me, happily ever after, when we watched it just this past time, from 2018 to 2023, we've been together mm -hmm. for you know an additional five years. We've lived together. We moved to a brand new city. We've both landed full-time jobs. Corey got a new job, has been promoted. I've been promoted twice and we're engaged. You know, it, we're getting married. So it just that time between one to the mm -hmm. next was just, was really nice. Yeah. My next one, mm -hmm. mornings at the resort. Ah, elaborate. I loved when we stayed at the Riviera this past time, we took mornings slower. We still rope dropped because don't get us wrong. We love a rope drop, but waking up, sitting on the balcony, mm -hmm. getting to enjoy each other's company, you know, maybe walking just a quick lap around the resort mm -hmm. to start the day. I just enjoyed being at the resort in the mornings because it's yeah. so quiet because everyone's in the park or sleeping. So when you get up and make time for your resort in the morning, it just feels really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And when you're going to Disney on vacation, it's all Disney. But when you can yeah. do your resort morning, it feels very much like a different kind Absolutely. of more elevated vacation. Absolutely. So resort mornings I love. For very me. nice. Continuing on a show theme. Fantastic. I was going to put that, but I didn't know if I should. It's random. 
I know. We don't have a shows category. I know. Transitions of scenes with the transitions of like the costumes and the people and the large prop things. Yes. Like everything. So good. Great music. Fantastic show. Can't I think wait it's to do my it again. new nighttime spectacular The only favorite. thing I don't like about it is the walk to the Brutal. theater. Brutal. Brutal. You need a snack to prep the walk. Yep. You need a snack for the get, walk. You, yep. And then you need a snack after Three to replenish from the walk. Yeah. It's a walk. It's definitely a walk. It's a walk. For sure. All right. One of my next favorite randoms. Mobile checkout and mobile order. Honestly, yes. Love that. There is nothing better that, than yes. being able to just mobile order for example like when we get in like in a line for a ride for riding flight of passage and i say hey i'm kind of getting hungry it's so nice to mobile order while you're in line ride your ride click i'm here and walk right in rather than yep. having to like walk up go to the counter wait for it to be made then find a table it just saves you even if it's that 15 20 minutes of saving time mm -hmm. it's just really nice to be able to yep. go in and mobile order mine number three because I'm ready and excited about this one. Reeling it back in. No more shows, but technically it is a show. Mickey cartoons. People. Oh, people. love the Mickey cartoons. This is the best thing to unwind from a long park day. Mm -hmm. Best way to start the day when you're waiting for your significant other to finish getting ready. It is just... Are you talking about me or Spenny? I'm talking about definitely Mr. Bear. Oh, Mr. Bear takes forever to get ready. Yes. I, it, they just put me in such a good mood. I love watching them. They're just one after the other. They're so easy to watch. They're so cute. I, I just love them. Do you know what I love, too, about Mickey cartoons? What is that? On our recent trip that we just went on in April, we did, like, a long, like, a short weekend trip. We left, like, Friday afternoon, mm -hmm. came back Sunday night. And one of my favorite things was when we had Mickey cartoons on at night after our resort day when we watched the fireworks at the poly and we played cards in bed and had the mickey cartoons yes. my next favorite pin trading ah uh, you like pin trading i like i i like pin trading we just started getting into pay, pin trading on our that trip actually that trip was the first one that we kind of started to dabble in the pin trading world i'd always wanted to start it but it just felt like a big thing like i didn't want to collect a collection of random pins yes. I just wanted to trade pins for pins that I liked and when we went Kingdom Lodge was our first pin trading yes experience. when we went to the Disney character warehouse they had like Buzz Lightyear pins that mm -hmm. were on sale for like four dollars and I was like oh Corey let's buy like three or four of them we can get into pin trading at like low risk you know what mm -hmm. I mean I didn't want to spend twelve dollars on pins you know per pin and then mm -hmm. trade them around if I didn't like any so we did that and I actually really liked it we got our first pin trading was a world Mickey and mm -hmm. then our second one was an Epcot Mickey which I thought was really cute and then we've got a Mickey and a Donald pin mm -hmm. so I think it's really fun to do pin trading yeah. all right what's yours rum blossom that's a good rum one blossom love a rum blossom and Pandora yes the bubbles bursting in your mouth the heavy pour the of bulbous. rum fantastic flavors frozen cool drink to cool you off nothing 10 better. out of 10 truly nothing better all right my next one Pool afternoons. I had pool afternoon on here too. Oh, you did? Yeah. I love going to the pool in the afternoon. It is so nice. It feels just like the most beautiful afternoon, like quickly. Like I go up, I wash my makeup off, I get my suit on, we go for a nice dip. We stay for about an hour, two hours. Mm -hmm. Then you go upstairs and then you get nice air condition and then it's you shower and then you get yep. dressed and it feels like, ooh, it's nighttime. Like, what are we going to get up to, you know? And I just feel like it sets the tone for the But night. it's funny that those two to two and a half hours Whew. literally felt as though you slept for 17, 17 hours. 17 days. It is such a weird rejuvenation that you get. Mm -hmm. It is so neat. It's so spectacular. I cannot stress enough to do that on yep. your vacation. Five, the Skyliner. I have the Skyliner too. Yes. Best form of transportation of all Disney World. Period. Put Skyliner everywhere. Period. So easy. So period, good. period on period. Love it. Yes. Maybe freaky when it stops, but outside Very of that. Very scary when it stops. Spectacular. There Love is it. something about a nice, relaxing Skyliner ride. It is a fun mode of transportation. It's always going. You're normally never waiting too long. The lines are always moving. And I feel like when we stay on the Skyliner, it's just exciting to just like take a ride on it. You just know to take I mean? a ride just on like a rest when we day. Get, yes, when we like get our travel there. day is so yep. fun. We always fill our resort mugs at Pop, yep. get on, take a ride to Epcot, walk the Autumn Beach, get back on. Well, now it's just, Riviera as well. That's yeah, now fun. Riviera. You know, it's just a nice time. So, Skyliner. Doom, doo, doo, doo. My last one. I really, I really like to rope drop. I ah, love rope drop. 
Oh, it's, yeah, it's so good. It's, it's so it's, fun. It's you necessary know, too. People talk about how me and Corey like maximize the parks. It's rope drop. If rope you're drop. not rope dropping, then it's a more leisure day or you're going to be in the park all afternoon trying to stack your lightning lanes, which is fine. But there's just something about getting up early, getting yourself ready and like being at the park in the morning, it's really cool out weather-wise. It's not super mm -hmm. hot and muggy, and there's not a lot of people. I mean, of course, there's people, but you're not with, you know, sardine can, like, you know, stacked on top of people. And I enjoy just a nice morning mm -hmm. rope drop. It's the only time that you can enjoy, normally, the park icons with less people. Mm -hmm. The castle, the Epcot ball, maybe the France Pavilion if you're coming in from the Skyliner, Sunset Boulevard, you know, the castle area, mm -hmm. Main Street. It's just, I love to rope drop the park. So parks. good. My last one is, and this was a recently new thing that we have discovered, it is placing gift cards towards our total Magic Band amount. That's a great one. Honey. It is a great one. This takes the hit of what you're actually paying for there. Yeah, it does. So much easier. Perfect way to budget. So it's a perfect way to budget because what Brian, I'm very fortunate enough that through work, I get like this point system where I'm able where you to get accrue points accrue and you can points, use points. And so I use that for Disney gift cards Yep. where Brianna every month, she will allot X amount of money to buy a gift card every month to yes. then use on the trip. So for her, when she utilizes them, she already has taken the hit. She's already done her finances. This is not a shock to her and she's already financially stable. Yeah. So then at the end of your trip, before you officially check out, you go to the front desk and you give them your gift cards and they will apply it to your charge yep. that is on your magic band since it officially doesn't go through until you check out right so if you have four hundred dollars in gift cards you just put that towards your bill and then when you see your itemized receipt it takes off the four hundred dollars you yep. only have x amount of dollars remaining that you're actually being charged for yeah. it makes spending money on the trip if you want to like splurge a little bit more a little bit better since you have that flexibility yeah i was gonna say that's such a great one something for gift cards too that i really like is you know for me there really is no need to take out, you know, a hundred or two hundred dollars every month or put it in a savings account and then transfer it at the end of the day. Just use the Disney use gift the cards. cards. The other thing is it's almost like Disney. I call them like Disney dollars. Like you've already put that money. Is. Yeah, you've already kind of like put is. that money aside, which yeah. I really like. And the other thing I'll say about the Disney gift cards is you can actually upload Disney gift cards to the My Disney Experience app so that you can pay for it with your genie. You can use it for your quick yeah. service. And I just think that gift cards are a great way, but you guys, that's the end of this year's Walt Disney World Favorites. This is probably a long one. If you're still here. We love you. Thank you. Oh my God, do we love you if you're still here. Comment down below your favorite part of this entire video or one of your Walt one Disney your World favorites. favorites down below. Mm -hmm. But we're going to end the video here. We love you guys so much. Make sure if you're new to give the video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button down below. And turn on your post notification bell so that you never miss any videos. But with that being said, we are so happy to have you here on the channel and we will see you in the next one. Bye everyone. Toodles.